Hey, what's up? This is Todd Smith. I'm back with another video. In this video, I want to speak about Zen Beats and the MIDI aspect across the various platforms. Zen Beats is a new cross platform music production tool brought to you by Roland and available on iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac. And the fact that it has an iOS version is really interesting to me and makes me really interested in the whole ecosystem. Last night I purchased the iOS version, I unlocked it completely, and started exploring the MIDI, which right away I realized the MIDI does not work the same on all the Zenbeat versions across all the platforms. So I figured it would be nice to make a little video speaking about that aspect of Zenbeats for people who are interested in getting into this system. All the Zenbeat versions come with unlimited MIDI and unlimited audio tracks. But how that MIDI works depends on the ecosystem you're using and they each have different limitations. So I figured I would throw this in the video. Now we'll start on the iOS because iOS is the reason why I started looking at Zenbeats and is the first one I unlocked. Zenbeats with iOS has MIDI in working perfectly fine. I plugged it in with various MIDI controllers, but when I tried to sync its MIDI out to my hardware, I noticed it wasn't working. And when I went into the settings, there was actual no MIDI out preferences at all. Where you, there is an actual MIDI in section that you can set, you know, your incoming networking and all that. So that's when I realized the Zen Beats on the iOS, even though it has unlimited MIDI tracks, that is not MIDI to your hardware. That is MIDI within the iOS ecosystem. Zenbeats does support AUM3. So the MIDI within Zenbeats can be sent to other iOS AUV3 devices. And as of right now, there is no MIDI out option within the preferences, which tells me there is no way to actually send MIDI out to your hardware. So if Zenbeats on the iOS is something you wanted to control hardware with, that is not possible. But if you wanted to control your iOS gadgets that had AUV3 technology, that is what the MIDI can be used for. In order to use the alternative iOS applications, you will need to upgrade to the full version within iOS which when not on sale is $14.99. And then I took the time to download the free Windows version. In the Windows version, you actually get access to VSTs, which was pretty interesting, which tells me that Zenbeats can function with whatever soft synths you're working with in the ecosystem. So if you're in the Macintosh, it's gonna be compatible with Macintosh VSTs. If you're in Windows, it'll be compatible with Windows VSTs. If you're using it in iOS, it's going to be compatible with iOS apps. But within the settings of the free version on the Windows desktop, there was MIDI out preferences with the option to choose your MIDI out sound card, your MIDI out audio interface, whatever you had going on, which tells me the desktop version can send MIDI out to your hardware. Now, I don't own a Mac, but with that being my experience, I would have to put my money on that the Android is the same thing as iOS. You're not going to have MIDI out, but the Macintosh desktop version will have a MIDI out option. So that is something you might want to know within stepping into Zen Beats. If you get the mobile and iOS version, as of right now, all the MIDI is applicable to within that ecosystem and can't actually be sent out of the ecosystem. It cannot be sent out to hardware. But if you get the desktop version, there is a MIDI out option that you can actually send MIDI out to hardware gear. That is something they don't really explain when you're buying Zenbeats, and it's something people might want to know before purchasing the program. Now, I'm gonna do some more exploring within Zenbeats. Whether or not I use it long-term, I don't know. I'm, right now, I'm just feeling it out and having fun with it, making some videos and sharing my experiences with you. Now that I've unlocked the iOS version and I started playing with it last night and I downloaded the free Windows version, I'm going to explore both aspects of that spectrum. I'd like to do a few videos where I explore Zen Beats doing all iOS work with all iOS application synthesizers within the Zen Beats ecosystem. 
And then I'd like to do a few videos where I'm using Zen Beats on the desktop to control my hardware synthesizers. And if I actually like how it all works, I might actually purchase the desktop version and try a full video where I start a song on the iPad and try the whole transfer system down to a desktop, adding VSTs and hardware and everything on top of it. If that is kind of a even semi-friendly um, workflow, that is something I'm gonna really enjoy. So I'm gonna check it out. Even if I don't end up liking it, hey, at least I checked it out. And a lot of you guys get to experience my opinions and my experience with it. So you guys can kind of make up your opinions on Zen Beats without even having to purchase it or even try it. So keep an eye out for the next like week or two on this channel because Zen Beats is kind of going to be the focus. And while I'm exploring it and getting my own opinion on it, and in return, you'll just learn a lot about this program. And I need to spend the time to say thank you for taking time to check out my content. There's tons of, you know, synthesizer content, iOS content out there. You could be watching them. You're watching me. It means a lot. I need to extend a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. I had one extra Patreon jump in this week. That means a lot, guys. That extra support really drives me forward to keep making content, keep making music, and keep pushing my dreams forward. And as always, I need to say, stay positive, stay creative, support each other, and peace.